so when I try to run the app, I actually get an unhandled exception, uh, which isn't good. Uh, but Visual Studio gives me some information about what's going on here. Now, actually, the reason I'm having this problem is because I have ASP.NET identity set up. Um, so I kind of added complexity by involving that in the project from the start. If you didn't do that, if you followed the tutorial exactly uh, as it stated from the Microsoft website, then you shouldn't have this issue. But just as a, a learning uh, opportunity, the way I solved this uh, issue is to look at the details of the error uh, first. So if I click on view details, it kind of gives us some more details here, but essentially this is the error. And I can actually copy the error and then kind of Googling part of it. So for example, the part that's kind of specific. So really it's this the entity type identity user login requires a primary key to be defined. So if I just Google that, I'll come up with some uh, results. Now there's a Stack Overflow page from at this point in time over six years ago, maybe not a good option. There's a more recent one um, from 2020. Uh, there's also one that's maybe three years old, but it's from the Microsoft website. So I looked at all of these, uh, but the Microsoft website uh, forum one, I went onto it and somebody with a similar issue. And the suggestion was that actually you just need to add this line of, on the on model creating method. So we can do that and we'll demonstrate the fix. So we'll close this Visual Studio window, we'll hit stop. Let's clear our output console just to keep things tidy. And then what we can do is in program.cs. Actually, no, it's not in program.cs, it's actually in our application DB context file that we need to add this change. And there we can see our on model creating method. So what we need to do, we need to add in this line of code as so. And let's hit save. And now if we try rerunning the project, uh, let's see how we get on.